now have met you about six times, and I, I, I like you so much. What I respect so much about you is you are friends with greats. You know, the royal family of you, and I understand that Mrs. Reagan called you. Which oh, I've, she did, yes, little Nancy, I've, bless her. As you know, my husband is a very famous prostate sufferer. As a matter of fact, <laughs> yes, you may not know that, Steph, but I've had my husband's prostate hanging over my head for years. tasteless audience you've got here <laughs> but Nancy I formed this wonderful organization it's a self-help organization which Nancy wants to introduce over here it's called Prostanon <laughs> it's, it's for the wives and dependents of prostate sufferers and you just sit in a church hall drinking coffee and kicking the prostate around <laughs> And, you know, it's a help for women to detach from their husband's prostate. It's not very difficult in my case. But there's, of course, marvellous operations. Don't they do now? Isn't there a thing in Australia where they, they... freeze it? It's called, yes, I think I read it's that. called cryonics. They snap freeze the prostate in the hope that one day a doctor will be born who can perform a successful operation on it. <laughs> that, unfortunately, is cold comfort to the sufferer. <laughs> <laughs> to bring it home from the hospital you know, in a thermos on the back seat of the car well I haven't had it there for many years Jane <laughs> and I got it I put it in the freezer on the left I've got all the barbecue meat on the right naturally <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very very worried that you know my bridesmaid Madge might sneak down into that kitchen in the middle of the night in the mood perhaps for a juicy old shish kebab Stephanie, I could step into that kitchen and find my husband's organ halfway down her throat. I could. It's possible. It is. It's a horrible thought. We'll be right back with Gregory Allen.